everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 6. In the last part, we fed that penguin a mix, and now we're gonna get to the love bus station. Hey, back off! Give me some room, will ya? You're getting in my way. What's with that super happy face? You're making me mad. You're really happy, huh? Alright, we're finally ready to go. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if we don't do something about this penguin, it's just gonna keep on cramping my style. Hey, back off! This penguin really likes Mick for some reason, and I don't know why, other than the fact that he fed it a couple times. You okay? Anyway, welcome to Seaside Town. Not much to do here yet. There are a couple things we can do, though. Jack into this... I think it's a water machine of some sort? And in it, there is a blue mystery data for us. Right here. In the form of a barrier 100. Uh, that's a barrier that absorbs 100 damage and then it disappears. And in this fish stick thingy majigger, We got some more stuff. I really wish I could eat fish sticks, but seafood allergies are not a thing I like. Also, talk to this guy, and for 100 zen you can buy some fish sticks, however, at the same time you get the seaside key, which allows us to get past the P-Cube and seaside area, if I recall correctly, and another unlocker. This is one of the few games in the series, I believe, where you can very easily find unlockers in uh, Blue Mystery Datas. And there's a subship dealer here, nothing really important, though. And welcome to the Aquarii! Uh, okay, who are you? Huh? Director, get out here! Explain yourself! Why'd you fire me? You don't get the right! Tch, I was giving the viewers an exciting show, a little fire! Little change in my face may come dramatic, flatter my tea. You don't know the first thing about entertainment! You shouldn't have fired me. Well, somebody's a pirate. Matthew Patel will get along with him very well. What's with him? Huh? Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong with the penguin? It's shaking. Hey, we should hurry up and get this guy inside the aquarium. Yeah. Hmm. What a strange building. I bet the aquarium's inside the whale. No. Huh? The door's locked. Looks like they're closed today. Closed? So we came all the way out here for nothing. Guess we've gotta come back tomorrow. Hold on, hold on. By tomorrow, you mean... Hey, who's gonna get stuck with this penguin until then? Uh, I thought that was obvious. No way, freak. You take him. We should ask the penguin who he wants to stay with. Right? This is a joke. Okay, let's meet back here tomorrow morning. It's Saturday tomorrow, so we can hang out all day. He's... he's gotta be kidding. Aren't Saturdays half days in Japan? So... Hmm, I guess it's supposed to be a Sunday in the Japanese version. Anyway, that's the end of this day. So, let's just sleep on it. Lan! Lan! It's morning! Wake up! Ugh, no school today, right? Let me sleep in a little more. Land, did you forget? You said you'd go to the aquarium with Mick, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. We said we were going to be in front of the aquarium. Okay, let's go. And we have some mail. And if Lan's saying we have to check it out, that means it's plot important. Version upgrade. Oh god, the Navicus returns! And you know what that means, guys? Forced tutorials and a gift folder. A uh, gift folder is an uneditable folder you can get. Uh, it's not that useful, honestly. Nothing good in it, either. Not even to program advanced changes. Anyway, 
one force foot tutorial later, I'm gonna give my tutorial. It's the exact same as it was in the last game. Two types of blocks, patterned and non-patterned. Non-patterned blocks have to go on the command line, patterned blocks can should not, otherwise you get bugs. And pa blocks of the same color should not go perpendicular to each other. They should they can be diagonal, but they shouldn't be touching otherwise. When you're done, when you're uh, done setting it up, just run and get all the stat boosts. Undershot lets us survive an a, a lethal attack with one HP. And the other two are just stat buffs. Also, you can only have up to four colors in it at a time. You're late. I know, I know. So how'd it go? You know, your night with the penguin? It was awful. He just run into my room. And when I put him in the bathtub, he just splashed. The worst part was bedtime. He cuddled up right next to me. I couldn't sleep at all. Well, that sounds adorable. That's why I'm so tired today. Huh. You're like members of the same family now. Family, what are you talking about? I'm human, that's a penguin. Yeah, but you're looking more like a penguin every second. What, how? Your mouth, you are mouth, really? Ugh. My mouth? Man, don't make fun of him. <laughs> but it's fun. All right, let's go inside the aquarium. My mouth? Lan is kind of dickish today for some reason. So this is the aquarium. Oh, and who's this fine dandy gentleman? And apparently he recognizes the penguin, and apparently the penguin's name is Plata, or Plata, I'm gonna say Plata. And apparently, uh, he left because of some scary trainer. Gee, I wonder who that is. We, uh, well, we found this penguin, sir. And he kinda latched onto Mick. And then we saw that post on the Seaside Area BBS. Apparently, Blot is not often fond of people. But, uh, he really likes us for some reason. But for doing that, we get a free trip to the aquarium. Awesome! We're gonna have loads of fun. He... His name was Plata, huh? Mick. Hey, while we're here, we should check everything out. Yeah. And they mean check everything out. Everything. Everything. You have to investigate everything at least once, and I recommend uh, memorizing some of the stuff, uh, the information, because it might come in handy. Just saying. Also, we got a Nautilus here. Isn't that what a... Uh, I'm a star and I'm a knight from uh, Pokemon are based off of. And piranhas with some really derpy looking teeth. And it also, it also gives me really bad piranha 3D flashbacks. Ugh. Awful, awful movie. I'm not sure if you have to talk to everyone though, I just know you have to investigate everything. Now, this is actually a really small aquarium, all things considered. Mind you, I haven't been to an aquarium since I last went to the Boston Aquarium back in 2006. Maybe earlier than that. <laughs> Mind you, even though I live like an hour away from it, I don't go to Boston often. Last time I went there was... Well, I go there to see my brother, because he lives there, but... Eh. Also, I've never seen an aquarium with alligators. <laughs> Or, well, actually, no, I've seen elephant seals. They kind of have one of those over at the Boston Aquarium, I believe. I think. It's been, like, years, as I mentioned. I really should go back, because I'm a lot older, so I'll probably uh, appreciate it a bit more now. Mind you, that requires me to leave my house, which is not an often thing I do. Anyway, I got an HP memory in here. Uh, there's also a uh, chip trade you can do, but I don't have the chip uh, yet, and I probably will never trade anyway. And later on in the game, if you talk to this program, he'll give you the aquarium HP, so you can, uh, the aquarium banner, rather, so you can uh, do a quick travel, essentially, to here. And there's the penguins. I wonder, is Plata actually in there? Wow. There are all sorts of things to live in the water. I can stare at them all day. You are very easily amused, then, for an 11-year-old. Actually, no, you're 12 at this point. Oh, an announcement. He's probably closer to 13, actually, now that I think about it. And apparently a Dolphin Seal show's about to start, so it sounds like there's a show. Might be fun. Let's check it out. Uh, you can talk to Mick, but I'm not sure if you have to. I'm just going back just in case. No, I'm not. Never mind. I kind of forgot I did that because I recorded this two days ago. And 
and a fan favorite seal with a very simplistic animation. Ooh! Wait, wait, 12 feet tall? That's twice my height! Wow, that's a. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Finny, the dolphin. Hmm. That's a very original name. You should have named him Phineas! Or Finn Baba, for a Final Fantasy VI reference. That's cool. And this kid's remarking something to his grandfather, apparently. It's different from the last time, and apparently the trainer's different, so... Oh, I wonder who that is even more! It's not like it's a unique NPC we've met recently. Apparently we're about to ride on a dolphin. Eh? Me? Really? Whoa! Ah, being on his back! Whoa! It's so cool! Mick, you seeing this? It's not that cool, it's embarrassing. I'm not sure, I'd like to ride on a dolphin. Sounds fun. It's about time to go home. Okay, let's go tell the director and we can go see Plata and... No, I want to leave right now. What? You don't want to say goodbye to Plata? Let's just hurry up and get out of here. You... You're afraid you're gonna be sad to say goodbye to Plata. I'm not a weakling. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the guy who's gonna crush you in a net battle. I know, I know. You don't have to keep on reminding me. Though it's never gonna happen. Okay, okay, let's go home. But before doing that, investigate this thing for a reg up one. Admittedly, though, I would love it if Nick, uh, if Mick was in an optional battle, if you actually got different dialogue, if you never faced him. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty funny. I like details like that. I like the Gilgamesh fights in, uh, 8. Well, actually, no, not fight. He just kills Odin. Hey, it's that guy again. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! How was the show, mateys? I was watching from the shadows. That wasn't entertainment. I'll show them what real entertainment is. <laughs> Mick! What's up? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm not sure I believe that, Mick. I'm hurrying home. Okay then, Mr. Sourpuss. Jeez, he's... He's mean for no particular reason. At least Dex has the rival thing going on, but you just are just a... You're just a dick. You really okay of not saying goodbye to Plata? Stop already. I don't need to say some special goodbye. What? Whoa, magic carp, what? Oh, piranhas in the fountain. Ah, oh, that's nothing big. <laughs> and sharks in the river. Okay, yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> so I can make sure piranha 3D and shark NATO. <laughs> sci fi, you better not do that. I'm sorry, Seafy as it really is now. Seriously, that's such a stupid name change. This is bad. That aquarium had alligators too, remember? If they escape into town. The penguin, is he alright? Uh? I'm gonna go check it out. Hey, w wait up! It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this. Lan. Lan, we should go back to the aquarium too. This wasn't an accident. I'm sure someone caused this. Yeah, I know. Let's go, we've gotta catch up with Mick. You gotta love how this is all happening within one week. Because, let's see, he moved in, he had the fire accident, then, then yesterday happened, and then today. Four days and he's already had this much happen. Oh, hello, Penguin. Yeah, stuff's not going right. But with that, I'm gonna need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part seven, we'll be continuing on in the aquarium to see what the hell is going wrong here. See you guys then.